Hey guys, this is Nathan from JNS, introducing you to the new and exclusive Nitro NZ302 fighter helmet. So this new fighter helmet into us, it's a polycarbonate helmet, so it's extremely lightweight as well as being extremely strong and it also helps to keep that cost down quite a bit. This helmet comes in some amazing colour schemes. Obviously you saw some at the beginning but we thought we'd bring you in a little bit closer just to check out this awesome chameleon skin pattern we've got on here. It is absolutely stunning, I can't say I've seen anything like this come into the shop, it is absolutely superb. So this Nitro helmet, it has a removable front as well as a removable peak. The front is removed just by two little pressers just on the inside of the helmet. If we press these both in, you'll be able to remove the front of the helmet, which will allow you to have that sort of trials look to it. Also, if you're riding a sort of Harley bike or something that's a little bit more aggressive, you just want a little bit more air coming in, dead easy to remove. The peak, if you want to remove that as well, it's just on some screws in the very top, nice and easy to remove. Ventilation on the helmet, you've got one large vent on the front here which is activated by just pulling a little lever on the inside. You have two large vents on the top which again is activated just by pulling on these two sliders. You have an exhaust vent on the side and you've also got two large rear exhaust vents as well. So if we move on to the bottom of the helmet, it has a quick release ratchet style fastening on there. To release it is activated just by pulling this little lever out here, you're able to pull it out put it back in, line everything up, slide it in nice and easy. So this helmet, it does have some recesses in there for your speakers to go into, so if you are running an intercom or you're looking at running an intercom in the future, you'll have no problem fitting it onto this helmet. The recesses on the helmet, if you just take out the cheek pads, which are all removable, you can see they are just on the inside of the helmet, just there. So as I said before, this helmet is a polycarbonate construction and it is also meeting the new ECE 2206 regulations that are going to come out in a couple of years. It's just this shell is already meeting them standards. So it does come as standard with a dark visor fitted. It's not a fully dark tint, so if you do get caught out a little bit later at night, you're not going to have to worry too much, but it is nice just to give it that sort of aggressive look. Just on the inside of the helmet, as you can see here, it does have a little hollowed out bit to allow your glasses to slide into. So if you are a glasses wearer, you'll have no problem fitting them onto this without having to poke yourself on the side of the head or having any uncomfortable pressure. So guys, this was the uh, first sort of in-depth look at the Nitro NZ302 fighter helmet. If you've got any questions or any information that you need, comment below. Uh, if not, like, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.